Mike Symington is now a businessman. He was the Republican governor of Arizona for six years, elected when the first George Bush was president. Now, a decade after leaving the State House, he takes me to a Phoenix park and discloses something unlike anything uttered by any other high-level U.S. politician. If you if you had been here ten years ago and standing out here and looking up there at the uh, at the lights and the view, um, you would have been astounded. You would have been amazed. Governor Symington is referring to what is now known as the Phoenix Lights, an object videotaped by many and seen by thousands over several nights in the Arizona sky in 1997. Major sighting here. It was described by witnesses as larger than a football field and silent. It was a giant V, all right, and the right side of the V went over us. The left side was like a couple blocks over it. We just didn't know what to do. You know, it was just like, my God, how big is this thing? The great state of Arizona, Fife Symington. The former governor, a Vietnam Air Force veteran, had never publicly acknowledged seeing it until now. And I suspect that uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise, that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft. So why didn't he say anything then? Partly, he says, because he didn't want people to panic. I think as a public figure, you have to be very careful about what you say because uh, people can have pretty uh, emotional reactions. And, and, uh, and I said my goal wasn't to try to stir the pot. And he went to humorous and controversial lengths not to stir the pot. He held a news conference after the Phoenix Lights to announce the mystery had been solved. And now I'll ask Officer Stein and his colleagues to escort the accused into the room so that we may all look upon the guilty party. Don't get him too close to me, please. It's, you know. In the alien costume, the governor's chief of staff. Now this just goes to show that you guys are entirely too serious. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts were not amused, especially since the governor was believed to have seen nothing. But now he's coming out. The lights were really brilliant. Uh, and it was just fascinating. It, I mean, it was, it was enormous. It just felt otherworldly. You know, you're, in your gut, you could just tell it was otherworldly. Symington will be talking about this in an updated film about UFOs called Out of the Blue. He has also talked with an organization that wants UFO information more out in the open. It's very significant that someone of the stature of a governor would come out and say that they acknowledge that they experienced uh, a UFO. Um, because it brings a lot of credibility and strength to the case. Governor Symington says he did tell his family, friends, and staff about what he saw early on. I still, behind the scenes, uh, tried to investigate it, but I got nowhere. So what were the Phoenix Lights? Well, frankly, we don't know. What we do know is that it's as much of a mystery today as it was a decade ago. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Phoenix. Well, now we're going to turn our attention toward the skies, specifically to some strange lights that some of your neighbors out near the Eagle Ford Shale oil field say they've seen. Reporter David Sears with our ABC affiliate in San Antonio takes a closer look. You've got three distinct lights. Pictures from oil rig security cameras. It's hovering above us. Videos from oil rig workers and eyewitness accounts from ranchers. Somewhere out there, there's something. Are we alone? It seems like UFO sightings are occurring more frequently over the Eagleford Shale. Some can be explained. It looked to the world like some sort of a craft sitting there. But after mutual UFO network investigators got a closer look. They have determined that it's, it's not a craft at all. Turned out it was some sort of vehicle. But then some sightings are unexplained. About 10% of them, those are the ones that will make your eyes roll around and around in your head. And we can't figure it out. They started blinking. One, two, three. One, two, three. It was like bing, 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 bing. Penny Farrell and her husband Jerry saw those lights just above the horizon from the back porch of their South Texas ranch last November. No pictures, just memories. All at once, they went back over here to this tree, but they were a little higher. After several minutes of back and forth and blinking, they took off. And when it shot up into the heavens, it was just like a blink of an eye, and boom, it was up there. We scanned the big South Texas star-filled sky. We didn't see any flashing or darting lights, but just because we didn't see it tonight doesn't necessarily mean it's not out there. If you were here and saw it like we saw it, sat here and marveled over what was happening up there in the sky, then you'd say, 
That's a UFO. Along the Eagle Ford Shale in South Texas, David Sears, KSAT 12 News. You decide. After the strange <laughs> and unexplained filled the skies over Cape Coral this weekend. Some of you wrote to NBC2. You even shared some video of these bizarre lights, thinking maybe they were mm -hmm. UFOs. Well, NBC2, Steve Campy discovered what it really most likely was. I never saw anything like it before. Strange sightings in the skies over Cape Coral spark imagination. They were just like uh, white lights, small in uh, size, you know, and they were maybe 50 foot above the water. Pete Mascio tells us he saw bizarre lights flicker this weekend off the South Cape. I've seen things that, you know, don't look normal. Richard Gobi isn't sold, that. telling us extraterrestrial life may exist, but probably didn't visit Cape Coral. It's probably uh, reflections. It's probably something off the, the water that reflects up in the sky. The Mutual UFO Network tells us many of the sightings could be easily explained with this, what's called a sky lantern. The hot air has filled up this lantern actually wants to pull away right now. So we're going to try to launch this off and see how far it goes. The color, the brightness at night, because it gets really bright, uh, they're going to think this is a UFO. Chris Whiten sells Sky Lanterns at his Fort Myers store. The fireworks enthusiast tells us some might mistake the increasingly popular contraption for a UFO. It's going to be heading out, continuously going higher, and it'll get to where it's a pinprick of light because of the distance and the height. While we can't be certain these lights are man-made, some plan to look up with a watchful eye. I'll look at it a little more closely. And perhaps spot something surreal. So Pete, you think we're not alone? No, I definitely think we're not. In Cape Coral, Steve Campion, NBC2. We're offshore. We got a meteor shower coming in. It's breaking up. Take a look at this cell phone video. Captain William Lowry was in his boat in the Freeport area around three Wednesday morning when he saw a meteor fly across the sky in a brilliant orange glow. Nothing like this of this magnitude. A few shooting stars from time to time, but this approximately lasted three to four minutes. The Russian meteor that exploded across the sky is prompting scientists to better identify large meteor and asteroid threats. A team at the University of Hawaii is working on the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, with NASA. Something that's, oh, enough to do a regional disaster. Well, we are picking those up about a year ahead. We'd like to pick up something a tenth of that size with enough warning, maybe a week's warning, two weeks warning, so people will know to look for it. And if they really are in the way of it, they'll know to evacuate. So why should they believe me if I saw UFOs? I saw them. I know. I know it's the truth. More people coming forward tonight saying they saw strange lights in the skies of southwest Florida. They believe they witnessed a UFO and say they've got the video to prove it. Foreign Reporter's Mike Mason is here to share what they saw so you can, of course, decide for yourself. Well, it all began the night of November 10th. Several people in Cape Coral reported seeing strange lights in the sky, and since then, more witnesses have contacted Fox 4, claiming they also saw these UFOs tonight. We have new video of these mysterious lights that some say are truly out of this world. Look over there. So many. Witnesses now claiming they saw strange lights in the skies of southwest Florida on two separate occasions in two different locations. He said, come here quick, you've got to see this, bring your camera. Gwen McDaniels and her husband saw the lights last Friday outside of their Fort Myers home just after dark. There must have been, I want to say 20, maybe there were 15, but it's a whole slew of them in an absolutely straight line. And they were gliding, just like this, gliding, gliding, just like this, gliding smoothly. And then they turned and went south down 41. McDaniels grabbed her Android and snapped a couple of photos, but for some reason the pictures didn't come out. But last Wednesday, Stephanie Ramos did capture images of something she calls extraordinary. Where are the other ones? Are the other ones gone? Look, that's got to be on the news. My husband and his brother come busting through the door and said there were UFOs outside. Ramos was visiting her family on Fort Myers Beach, her iPhone recording video of these lights at the southern end of Estero Boulevard. We just stood on the beach and watched those three lights um, distance themselves farther and farther away and basically just kind of vanish. The video shows three lights in the sky above the housetops in a triangular pattern. Then one light disappears and the other two seem to float away into the night sky. Oh my God. 
Eight members of the Ramos family witnessed the event. Both they and McDaniels are convinced they saw something from out of this world. So you're, you're a religious woman? Yes, I am. So would you swear on the Bible that you Absolutely. actually saw this? Absolutely. I would swear on the Bible. Well, there you go. The Ramos family says they asked officials at Southwest Florida International Airport if there were any air traffic recordings of UFOs last Wednesday. They were told they'd have to file a formal report to request the audio transmissions. We'll, of course, follow up on this and let you know what happens. In the studio, Mike Mason, Fox 4 Near Corner. CTV News at 6 with Joe Perkins. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. We begin in the skies above Vancouver Island. In the past week, there have been multiple reports of strange flying objects darting across the horizon above Victoria. On Friday, a meteor streaked across B.C., working its way down into Washington State. But it's what else was in the sky that night that has many curious, including a prominent UFO researcher who says he's now on the case. CTV's Gord Kerbis has the story. A meteor tracking website shows the January 11th reports of people sighting a fiery object in the sky traveling from B.C. towards Washington State. But it seems that a meteor may not have been the only thing in the sky at that time. There are definitely some odd stuff took place on the 11th and it took place on the island and in Victoria area around, around there and definitely in the lower mainland. Brian Vike is a UFO investigator based in Houston, British Columbia. That's right, the other Houston. His blog, The Vike Factor, is now filled with sightings from the 11th of strange lights and a triangular-shaped object the size of a school bus over Vancouver Island. A woman had taken her uh, children to school. She stopped. Uh, this is after a 6.30 meteor sighting. She had looked up a flash of the sky again, bang, here comes this solid object, triangular in shape, three orange balls at each of the points. She watched it move along, it came to a hover, and then bang, all the three balls of light went into the center, and bang, this thing was gone. I looked up in the sky and I saw just this light coming over. It doesn't look like it's from Earth, it looks like it's from somewhere else. We've spoken with Vancouver Islanders before about their strange sightings, and Vike has looked into many of them as well. He's been investigating UFO sightings across Canada with a keen interest in his home province. What are you? He was recently sent this video of a strange flying object over the lower mainland shot with a night vision camera. And he's got objects doing all kinds of weird things in the sky at night and everything, and this is on a tripod steady and everything, so it's got some weird stuff. Since starting, Vike has looked into more than 11,000 reports and says 90% of them can be explained. Usually people seeing light reflected off the International Space Station and Chinese lanterns or search and rescue flares are often mistaken for more mysterious objects. But every once in a while reports jump out at them, like this 2010 sighting by a woman near Campbell River. This thing actually rose up from the, from the ground, hovered a little bit and then came towards her vehicle. By this time she's kind of, you know, getting a little excited and freaking out. And it went right over top of her vehicle and it was another triangle. Bike says 2013 is already starting off with an incredible number of reports. Anyone seeing strange objects is invited to contact him through British Columbia UFOs.blogspot.ca. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.